Have you ever had one of those big dinner parties with once a huge group of people over, and it's like they expect you, they, they've almost expected that you've had the stuff prepared like 10 minutes before they got there and just ready to, do you want me to show you how to do that? Well, that's, that's not what I would do. That's not what I would do. I, I, I mean, that's a lot of work. I mean, what, the way I would do it is you'd have caterers, and you have all the work done for you, and then you have the caterers leave before the group, big group gets there. And so that way you can take all the credit, but you don't have to do any of the work. But um, let's, let, let's go make some drinks. Come on. Come on, follow me. Welcome to Chez Cress. Bon Appetit. Here we go. For now, we will start by making one of my favorite drinks of all time, Loco Mocha Coco. Okay, let's get started. I got the wrong one. Jamaica McLazer Mom. You know, this reminds me of my very first experience ever with the Loco Mocha Coco. Buttered toast, or frozen pizza, for instance. I was a, oh gosh, could have been knee high to a grasshopper. It was it was out hot summer's day, uh, out in the country. My uh, my grandfather was on the porch in a rocking chair. Okay, and he was enjoying this wonder. Wait a minute, no 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 no. I'm sorry, that was uh, that, those were those originals. And here we go. Hi, uh, welcome to another Justice Congestion. This is Chris again. And um, for those of you who know me, um, you may be a bit surprised that I am as interested as I am in cooking, or at least books about cooking, I suppose, as opposed to books about eating. But um, I, I really got interested in food and preparation of couple years ago, I'd say. And uh, so let's start with Alton Brown. He's got a show on TV called Good Eats. And uh, to give you an idea of his personality, here is, is book one of him, Good Eats. And actually, this is not the way the book cover is supposed to be. I've got the book cover turned inside out because on the back of the book cover is a poster of Alton Brown, if that gives you any idea of his personality. He tends to be more of a scientific chef, so to speak. But uh, there's Alton Brown, really interested in him. There's Jamie Oliver and his food revolution. I think he's incredible with, with, with the stuff he's got. Really like Ann Burrell. I think she makes, she makes it look so easy. Um, but one of the first things I, I got that sort of interested in me in food preparation, you may see it right here. Of course, it's got the magic potato masher in it, but that has nothing to do with what it does. This is an ice cream maker. And um, I cannot tell you how wonderful and simple and easy it is to make incredible tasting ice cream with just a very few simple ingredients. Um, Got an example of a book right here, Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream and Dessert Book, which is available. I can't believe I forgot to bring it with me today, but one of my favorite ice cream books, it's a, one of the Complete Idiot's Guide, but it's not to computer basics, it's to making your own ice cream. But it would look like this, but instead of computer basics, obviously it would say making your own ice cream. Um, excuse me. I got a crock pot a while ago, and as you can tell from this book, which is fairly well used, this is one of my favorite crock pot cookbooks, slow cooker cookbooks, the Fix and Forget It cookbook, uh, 700 Great Slow Cooker Recipes. I think it's it's just a wonderful book. Well, this is this is the uh, the section where our cookbooks would be. Um, and again, if, if there's not a particular one that you're looking for, we can order anything you'd like. Usually we can get it within a couple days. So I uh, hope to see you soon this week at uh, Downtown Books and Coffee here in Auburn, New York. Catch you later. try this. You gotta try this. Oh my gosh, you're you're right, Chris. This is scrumdiddlyumptious.